Ooh, that's a good one. Go. Hi guys, it's Three Lie, and I'm going to be playing the new released Madden 17. It's going to be doing the Steelers versus Cardinals, and right now they are showing us how to kick because we're not really good at that. It's a short kick, kick. taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot oh, right away. Key. And they didn't wait long to take a Not shot there, down. that's for sure. But it falls incomplete, and it's second down. Some new features in the game. Like juke. And yep, kicking is new. You can now ice the kicker, and we are going to be trying to do that. The first carry now. This is Johnson. Johnson. And they get him and down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time. Somebody gets on you. You got an uh, option to press the, the run right button. There. This guy's known for his and quickness, but also for his speed. That, He's able to get to the second level happen. almost before you and blink you if you give him any type of blocking. That's Always right. talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, okay. and he used it to great okay. advantage. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. Palmer gives to Johnson, and he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Back-to-back -back runs that were stacked up. Offensively, now you've got to think to yourself, do we change blocking assignments? Do we change formations? Do we change looks in order to try and get the running game going? Forced out to his this left. Penalty marker is down here. Star. Unable to connect that there one. on the pass play. He, for automatic first down for pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. Well, I got lucky there. So a pass okay. interference yeah, here, and this is one. obviously a call we see all the time, but for the defender, it's becoming almost impossible to play defense in some of these situations. You're trying to play through the receiver to the football. If there's any contact at all before he gets the there, those it's officials won't be. He's got a man That's down. complete. And he will take this one in First for one of the game. Larry Fitzgerald, 29 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. It's never any goals. I am not good at them yet. The I've practiced them a lot, but I'm still not good. Make those adjustments and come back for your next series with the intent of shutting them down. Here's Chandler Catanzaro oh, for the extra point. Oh, that's the opportunity to ice the kicker. Oh, God, he does. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. Touchdown to kick it away. Marcus Wheaton. It's Marcus Wheaton now to return it. This is a matchup to watch. Antonio Brown and Patrick Peterson. That should be interesting. They come out here in the eye. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out. Yes! Intercepted. Picked off by Tyvon Branch. We just signed him. He is a new okay, creator. Okay, it's not for the sake of here, but we know that sometimes as a that. quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. It gets intercepted. 
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back Ooh, in the end zone. It's always this punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I love it. We'll see if they Ooh. dial it up this drive. Uh, and it's incomplete it's there. A nice hit. Well, Jerry the ball free. Nope, it's and John Brown. Third down. There's two Browns. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Yeah, he's 12. Right now. Now Palmer on third and long. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle. He can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. Oh, and it's picked off! <laughs> Oh, he breaks the tackle. Oh. He gets to the three yards. Guys will get the football I get the pick. Well, I get what he was I trying to do. Right he was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. I'm going to try to get something going on defense. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. Snap count through the defense. Oh, five-yard penalty. That's going to be a five-yard oh, penalty. Delay a game? Nope. Five-yard penalty. Oh, you. Yep. Okay. I'll accept that. And it's... Thank you. Give me some breathing room. Chandler Jones, who we just signed during the offseason. They come out with one back and three tight ends. James has got it. Complete. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. So here we go, first and ten now. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. The tight end changing his position. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Oh, that so he couldn't been find his hit. man there as it falls to the ground. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. Brown, the lone receiver left. An encroachment penalty here, maybe just a mental lapse, partner. Oh, sometimes you have to just watch the football. Penalty. Make sure it's snapped before you're jumping. It's because I just want to go fast. <laughs> DB added here for the cards on third. Let's have full coverage. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Oh, 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 hang on oh, to it through the contact. Incomplete. I was using that Normally guy. Normally he's pretty reliable. Tipped Usually catches what's thrown to him. Peterson on that throw he simply dropped turn. it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going to turn the kick. Me neither. Peterson to return. Had a critical fumble and no, the return mind. is Peterson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gets the right blocking board. nearly sprung in there. 28. Mm -hmm. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. 
I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making Gerald, the fewest mistakes open. will win. But they're hoping it's a bad last mistake. Touchdown. 14 Good quarter. Still the first quarter. The Cardinals will extend their lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now, Captain Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. Oh, Wheaton will return it. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it Just is, they'll start this drive at about the 37 yard line. Here comes the Cardinals defense they head out and get set here. They simply really cannot be playing any better. They've got the shutout going. I don't know whatever these guys ate before this game, but they should do it every week. Well, that's an alert for the chef then, isn't it? To make sure that's the menu for each and every game. Oh, get him, get him, get him. They are following a blueprint that is working so well for them. And what they're doing is giving their own offense great opportunities to put points on the board. You can't ask for much more if you're a head coach watching your defense control the game. Boy, they have controlled it for sure. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. Oh, they're not under right. pressure. Sack five on the Receiver, and he's brought down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack to lose that kind of yardage, not a great start. Same as Chandler Jones. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. 